literally raining for like three days. It will not stop. What you came to this video about is storing your soft plastics and most importantly, your Z-Man soft plastics. I'm gonna show you a way I like to store mine to keep them fresh. You know Elastex just a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to store that stuff and keep your Z-Man plastics looking pop, crisp, fresh, just like they're supposed to be. So one bait in particular, this kind of, uh, uh, it can be a little bit of a pain to store, I think, for Z-Man is a hula stick, for one. You really gotta kinda be careful how you store that guy. And the TRDs, believe it or not, you know, you really gotta be careful how you store these guys. I'm gonna show you how I store them and some things that you need to take precaution of when using these guys. So both of these baits you can get from on my website. Finesse TRDs and the Hula Sticks, probably two of my favorite Ned Rig style baits. <clears throat> so one thing you'll gotta notice is with the last tech, you know it's different than traditional plastic. The best thing about it is you see how it like, dude, you can you can't break it. Once you kind of super glue it on the hook, it's there. As long as you don't break off, you don't ever have to replace it. All great stuff about Elastic. It all floats so it stands upright. It just acts totally different than traditional plastic in the water. I think it's, it's softer. You catch more fish on it. It's just the way to go, right? But there are some things that you got to pay attention to when it comes to actually storing Elastic in your boat. This is what I keep my Elastic plastics in right here. This is just a plain old KBD speed bag. This is one of the first one. This is the older one I had. This is the old Elite Series. As you can see, this is how I store my Z-Man plastics. And I've got the new KVD Speed Series here as well. All right, so you're probably asking, why do I store my plastics in the bags instead of your traditional, like your 3700 Planos or anything else? Well, there's a very specific reason you don't want to do that. You don't want to take your Elastic out of the bag, and I'm going to show you why. So one reason you don't want to take Elastic out of its original bag is the plasticizers in Elastic. You like that word, plasticizers? That's just what the people at Z-Man told me. I thought it was a cool word and I always said I wanted to say it in the video. In other words, what the stuff is made out of, it actually reacts with the plasticizers or plastic that traditional tackle boxes are made of. The ones that look like, let me, let me show you. The, pla the, the, back, the boxes that you normally use. You know what I'm talking about. So the boxes like this that you normally store your traditional soft plastics in, don't do that. It don't work good with elastic. Keep them in the bag. And I like to store them in the KVD bags because it keeps the bait nice and straight. You gotta make sure when you're using elastic that you keep your bait straight in the bag. You see how like in the bag right here, you see how I've got those lined up exactly like how they need to be and there's none crooked. You don't wanna have them upside down or laid over each other. You wanna make sure that they stay nice, neat, just like that. I'm gonna tell you why. Elastic does have the tendency to kind of lose its form if it's not stored right. So with that being said, when you store Elastic in these KVD bags, the plastics are always laid upright. You see how when you look in the bag, they're laid upright, they don't get all smushed together and out, out of, you know, just out of shape. Another thing that I've noticed that you'll have a tendency to do when you store Elastex, and even like the, the binders or something like that, you don't want to lay them flat like this and then put other boxes on top of them. Because what happens is the Elastex will lose its shape when you pack weight on top of it and then your swim baits will lose their shape. You can see these are stored in, in, this, uh, in this bag and they still have their shape. The tails aren't disformed or anything and that bait will work just like it's designed to because it's been stored correctly. So definitely, definitely, definitely pay attention to how you store your Elastec formula because it makes a difference in how long these baits last. And you want them to last a very, very long time. I've had baits that I've, I've kept for years just like this because I've stored them right. But if you leave them out of the sun, if you pack weight on top of them, if you take them out of the bag, you're gonna have trouble. So use these guys. The Plano Speed Bags it's been the best way that I've found to store my 
plastics. You can see I've got tons of them in my boat with everything in them stored just like it needs to be. So now that I showed you how to store these bags, I'm going to give you guys a couple tips and I'm going to give you a place that if you're looking to buy some new Ned Rig baits, you know, Ned Rigging is something that I've kind of grown to really like over the years. It was something that I was introduced to you about seven or eight years ago and I said it would never work. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you the Ned Rig kit that you can buy on my website. You know, Ned Rigging is something that I've grown to really, really like and I found a lot of uses for it on the water for me. I was introduced to this about seven or eight years ago at a media conference and thought it was the stupidest, dumbest thing ever. And now I'm probably one of the biggest fans of the Ned Rig ever. So check it out right here. You'll see a link in the description box of this video of some of my personal favorite Z-Man plastics that I like to use for net rigging and I'm going to show you some of the ways that I rig them some of my favorite colors and some of my favorite styles of south plastics in this video check it out all right so you asked for it and I decided I'd put something together you know net rigging is like just a really trending topic right now so I decided just like I did all the other kits on my shop blat.com uh, I decided to put together a Ned Rig kit and it's got all of my baits that I really like to use for Ned Rigging in this kit and there's three of them there's three soft plastics I think you can do everything you need to do with three of the Z-Man soft plastics to get started Ned Rigging of course they have a lot of different soft plastics but for me when I Ned Rig the first three that I pick up are the three baits that I put in this kit one is a TRD one is a Z-Man Ticklers and the other is called the hula stick you heard me talk about all three of these baits and you've probably seen them in some of my videos if you've watched my videos before and i'll tell you a little bit about them how i like to rig them um, and probably talk a little bit about the setup that i like to use to fish for these particular fish with these particular baits of course this is a finesse tactic okay you don't need to have these on bait casters probably shouldn't have them on bigger line much more than 10 pound test line if you want to use bigger line than that, that's totally fine. I just think you do a better job when you're using somewhere between six and 10 pound test line on these baits. Um, one of the baits you're going to find in this kit is called the Finesse TRD. This is the guy that started all the trend right here. It's just a simple two and a half, two and three quarter inch hunk of soft plastic. And the color that I put in there is called Yoga Pants. It's pretty much solid black. This color is just great for a lot of dis different situations. A lot of the bugs and crustaceans and crawfish and a lot of little bottom deals that fish feed on a lot of times are just really just dark. They're really not fancy. This technique isn't fancy. It doesn't take a lot of equipment and it's quite honestly a very simple way to fish and just a soft plastic, a solid black, just a solid color works really good and it's a good place for you to start if you're just starting to get into net rigging. Uh, the other one is, this has become probably my most favorite of all the Ned Rig baits, is this little guy right there, that little morsel, that's called the Ticklers right here. Now the Ticklers, I rig all these, these baits except for the Hula Stick pretty much similar, they're pretty much, I rig them all the same. Pretty much an exposed hook, you can flip it over and just turn it into, you know, rig it like you would a normal shaky head and Texas rig it. What I like about the Ticklers over the hula stick it's got the same tentacles just like the hula stick does with pretty much a solid body but it has a little bit thicker plastic body it holds the hook and holds the keeper a little bit better um, and just the length is a little bit shorter but that little bit shorter length it just has a little different action it's a little bit more erratic when you're popping the rod tip it's just it, it really comes up fast and it darts to the left darts to the right i like this plastic the best this is probably going to be one of the ones that i start with most of the time is just a tickler this color that i put in the kit is called hot snakes on that guy and last but not least in the net rig kick that i did that i designed is called the hula stick this is uh before the ticklers came along this was my favorite but now you know the ticklers has come along and that's my new boo right here but the ticklers is kind of the guy that i developed a lot of confidence in one of the things I've always enjoyed about fishing the hula stick is it's a four inch bait. Most of your Ned Rig baits are two and a half, two and three quarters, three inches long. This is a little bit more versatile. You can do a lot more 
with the hula stick than you can with the finesse trd or even the, even the ticklers this bait if you go look at i'll put a link in the description box i've got six different ways that i look at that i like to rig this bait and to, to hear about this in more detail check out the video that i'm gonna put in the description box of this video because i go through each one of them in detail how i like to rig the the hula stick but this one bait alone the traditional ned rig a shaky head a drop shot a wacky drop shot a weighted wacky rig hook a split shot nico style you can do all those different techniques with just this one bait so even though in this kit it only seems like there's three baits you've got about seven or eight different presentations you can make with these three baits and i promise you you're going to catch a lot of fish and you're going to develop some confidence in the ned rig so go to shopblat.com check out the videos in the description box that i'm going to put in this video and uh, I think you're going to enjoy this kit.